This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Guys, we're back here at Meadville, PA, at Meadville High School for Night of the Superstar 6 with the International Wrestling Cartel, and I found Mr. Anderson. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know we are doing the thing, so. You can if you want yeah, to. It was a post-match. It's been a long match. It's been a long day, so. Uh, a long day. But you're here in Meadville, hanging out with the IWC, the meet and greet and everything. How's it been today? It was really good. Really good. I was surprised by how many fans came out and how, uh, how loud they were. They just came here to have a good time. Obviously, it's for a good cause, so it's a win-win. Uh, uh, you, of course, had uh, RJ City in there. Uh, yeah, we know him very well on the show and here with IWC. Uh, he's, a, he's a pretty big guy on the mic, too, as well. How, how did you how did you fare with him out there? Yeah, uh, this is the second time that I've actually wrestled RJ, and i tell you what, he's got a bright future. Really, uh, really cool cat. He's... You know the the stuff that he does in the ring is believable. It's uh, it's there. Um, you know he's an entertainer, and I, I think he's got a bright future. So That's he needs awesome. to keep whatever he's doing. He needs to keep doing that. That's awesome. So what's uh, what have you been up to these days? So I just opened up a wrestling school in Minneapolis, Minnesota, with my business partner Sean Davari, mm-hmm. who was uh, Davari in the in the WWE, and uh, he was. Uh, Sheikh Abdul Bashir and TNA. I think we talked with him. I think shortly after WWE on on the old iteration of the show. So really cool guy, and he's been here in IWC several years back too. Well, I wouldn't say he's a cool guy, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it depends. I, depends on what kind of night it is, right? So. <laughs> right, right. But, uh, no, but I opened up a wrestling school with him, and we've got uh, Molly Holly is actually attached to the school great. too. Eric Cannon, mm-hmm. Aria Davari was going to be one of our head trainers, but two weeks before we opened the doors, he got. Mm-hmm signed by WWE and is doing a great job over there at 205 Live. So, um, yeah, we've got uh, a great little, we, we just started in December. We have about 65 students and we're training five nights a week. We've got some students, you know, we've got everybody from never stepped foot in the ring before to have been working for two years and just want some polishing. So uh, we're working and, and we work, you know, every aspect of the game we wrestle. We work on promos. We work on character development. So, if anybody would like to get a career going in the in the field of professional wrestling, check out the Academy Pro Wrestling dot com. Uh, we have a Twitter and a Facebook. All that old jazz. So you mentioned two hundred five live. It seems like there is. More than ever, a lot of opportunity between all these different properties that WWE is doing, obviously, um, with indie wrestling that that is doing well on their own here and there, right? Uh, and, and other companies that are popping up on TV, Fight, Flow Slam, all kinds of things. Yeah. Is this, like, maybe, in your perspective, like, one of the best times to have a chance to put your career forward in pro wrestling? Absolutely. It's, it's an exciting time to be in the wrestling business. And the thing is, is that there's... You know, anybody can can make their own destiny. Really, mm-hmm. you've got an amazing camera generally mm-hmm. in your in your pocket, with an editing suite, and you know everything else. You're you're able to transmit information immediately. Um, you can put together amazing looking video packages for yourself. You can promote yourself via social media. It's 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 a crazy time, and there are so many different wrestling promotions out there there's some great wrestling promotions that are here in the states then you've got like england right now is killing Mm -hmm. with different promotions um you can you could go over to england right now and work as though it was like an old school territory you can wrestle seven days a week over in england right now and england's not that big so that road time it's the size of the state of florida you know so it's the size of the state of florida i think from top to bottom is maybe nine hours mm-hmm. at most. Mm-hmm. So, and that's, you know, north to south, east to west is four or five, I believe. Mm-hmm. 
And the accessibility, like, you know, I know CMLL is really easy to watch online. Uh, I, we subscribe to New Japan on the show. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Like, and then we're seeing, you know, guys come over and make a name there, come here and have that buzz going into things. Yeah, yeah. And right now, with, like, the way that NXT is working, I think it's great that guys are getting an opportunity to sink or swim, kind of build their own, you know, build their own path, build their own destiny, choose your own destiny, if you will in NXT and kind of fine tune things as you go along. And by the time they get to the point where they're ready to come to the active roster on Raw or SmackDown, they're already over with the crowd. The crowd already knows who they are. Mm -hmm. Shinsuke Nakamura, you saw the way that he debuted the other night and the crowd is singing along with his deal. I mean, it's, it's a really cool time. We were talking on the way up here today. Like, if I, I feel like, you know, looking at Ron SmackDown this past week, guys like Shinsuke, like, back in the day, you know, oh, this guy came over and they got that big thing. It seems like we're building that, and it's kind of WWE versus the world because you have all these, you know, people building on indies, do Japan, and then they pop, and, like, there's that, oh, my God, he's here moment. Yeah, and, and right now, but the thing is, is WWE is really, they're just looking for good talent right now. Oh, yeah. It's not like it... Back in the day, it felt like, well, this person was created in WCW or ECW, and Vince didn't do it, so therefore we don't want him. We want only guys that we've created. It doesn't have that feel anymore. Like, if you make a name for yourself somewhere, WWE will hire you. I make the joke, it sounds like Paul's uh, WWE is coming up a little bit because his little NXT experiment, right? So Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's fantastic. So. And everybody always, you know, Hunter, Hunter always had a bad name. Mm. I believe, from what I've seen now, he, he at the very least, is, has changed his tune a lot because he's giving guys opportunity after opportunity after opportunity right now. Mm. Great stuff. It's cool to see. Great stuff. So, everybody check out the school. Anything else people should uh, check out that you're involved in? Uh, just that, theacademyprowrestling.com. Go check it out, and uh, thank you so much for thank being you. on the show. So, this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.